Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Fillmore Auditorium in beautiful San Francisco! Put your hands together and give it up for Gary great man this is it man this is the special the hbo special nine long years to get here and where do they shoot it on the set of some kind of gay porno movie look at that <laughs> caligula come on now you know what i'm talking about i think you do come on remember you know what i'm saying yeah i know you do oh san francisco i love ye but this is such a loud, towny, tutu town, isn't it? Yeah. The loudest thing are the garbage trucks. Do you hear them in the morning with that sound? You know that? Make it stop! Make it stop! Make it stop! Oh, it's going. It's going. No, wait! What is that? Can't they oil it, whatever it is? <laughs> is someone throwing out a goat every day? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I don't get it. They come at 5 a.m., why? They're picking up garbage. It's not gonna go bad again. What's the hurry, huh? What are you who, huh? I'm into the environment, and so should you. It's not just for lesbians anymore, I'm telling you. <laughs> Enjoy it. Revel in it. I watch the Discovery Channel. Yes. And you know what I discovered? I need a girlfriend. That's right. Yes, yeah. No, I did. Because that Discovery Channel is the most boring shit I've ever seen in my life. And the more of you watch, the less chance you ever have of meeting a woman. Because it fills your head full of odd facts that come out at any moment like a Tourette syndrome. I'm talking to a girl. I'm like, how you doing? Did you know Hitler was ticklish? Well, mm -hmm, yeah. Much like the sea otter. Where are you going? Come back. <sighs> All those animals, animals, and documentaries. I was watching this four-hour documentary on the invention of the straw. Now, don't, don't ask me why I'm watching it, you know, because I'm taping it. But the man who invented the straw had to be the laziest man on earth. Because think about it. This was too much work for this fucking dude. There's got to be a better way to get the liquid from here to my fucking head. No, no, something more. Perhaps a straw. Mmm, Eureka. Oh. oh, Lordy Lou. Yeah. I was watching this thing about the orangutan. Have you seen them? Yeah, well, they're endangered. <laughs> do you know the orangutan are the smartest of all the other monkeys? Yeah, they like do the fucking taxes for the other chimps, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know why they have the red hair? Camouflage. <laughs> I thought they were Irish. I really had no idea. <laughs> you know what animal I hate the most? And you're gonna hate me for saying it, but I'm gonna say it, because it's my show now. The dolphin. Oh, I hate the dolphin. They're always laughing and smiling at you. That eh, eh, eh. They're always so fucking happy. Why? They're like the born-again Christians of the sea. I don't get it. Yes, yes, yes. They always have that look like they just fucked your girlfriend. You know, like, eh, eh, eh. we weren't doing nothing. Eh, 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 eh. I can 
smell her on your blowhole. I know it. Come over here, Flipper, and get the beating of your life. Let's take it down a notch. I don't have a girlfriend, but sometimes I like to pretend I do. I just stand in my apartment screaming, hey, no, 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 that's not what I said, no. Uh, oh, 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 I, no, I didn't say that. Excuse me. Put down the knife, put it down, put it easy, easy. That was like a one-man show, huh? Yeah. I call it Doreen. So, I'm going bald and I can't keep hiding it from you. I really am. You know, I am sick of bald men being stereotyped on TV as basketball players and captains of starships. You know... Oh man, am I going bald. If I knew I was going to go bald, I would have done a lot more hair things when I was growing up. I would have had a beehive. Fuck it, I don't care if it's ugly, that's hair, ain't it? Well, it is. Pigtails, cornrows, that Princess Leia thing on the side, I don't care. Just look, look at it. Make it better, Daddy, make it better. You know you're going bald when your conversations with your barber keep getting shorter and shorter. I sit down, he's like, nice day, you're finished, all right? Beat it. Well, take a tip. No, son, that would be stealing. Oh. I always see guys with really good hair, but they always fuck it up. I saw this one guy, he carves a line going all the way around his head, just this line. Why? Is that for when you say, you know, I have had it up to here? Literally, I've had it up to here. Check it out. Well, sorry for smoking. What is that? I thought so. Well, I smoke so much, three packs a day, and I wear the nicotine patch. That's like a thousand cigarettes a day, I know it. But, now, I know it's a lot, because I went to the bathroom, a camel came out of my ass. Now, I don't know, I don't know. I call him Oscar. I gotta quit smoking doctor's orders and the drink and court orders. I, uh, I should work out. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. No, I have a gym in my building. Does anyone else live in the Y? I, um, I bought this book on burning calories. And you know something? You burn calories just doing normal things, you know? Like this. Every time you do that, you burn one calorie, huh? So if you did that all day long, you'd be fat and in a mental hospital. But so what? Point taken. I think the point is taken there. Yes. Everything you do burns calories. Getting up in the morning, 100 calories. Kicking the hooker out of your bed, another 100. <laughs> Diapering your monkey, 35 calories. <laughs> Laughing at a midget, fun and 10 calories. Catching your girlfriend with another guy, two to three thousand calories, depending on bat swings. Well, I hang out with my dad mostly. My dad was in the military. Yeah. He's at that age now where his war stories and his other stories have blended together. So now you don't know what he's talking about. It's like one time we were surrounded, then we ran out of ammo, then we were fighting hand to hand, then we started dancing, and that's how I met your mother. What? Papa. Papa, what happened? He never let me have anything fun, nothing fun, like fireworks. Who didn't love fireworks? Raise your hook hand so I can see you. <laughs> you know what we had? Sparklers, sparklers. Sparklers are the gay cousin of the firework family. Yeah, there they are. Yeah. I think a flashlight is more fucking dangerous than a sparkler. 
My friends have M80s, bottle rockets, they're blowing up frogs, chasing old people around, you know, fun. I'm walking around like the special Olympic torch boy. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Excuse me. I have a cello lesson in a second, please. Excuse me. Watch it. Planes are landing on me. Wave her around. Take her around. You could die doing anything, you know that? I almost killed myself with a Q-tip. Really, I'm serious. I was cleaning my ear with a Q-tip, right? Then the phone rang, and I forgot I had the Q-tip in my ear. Three calories, yeah. And ever since then, I had magic powers, that's right. Will I use them for good or evil? I don't know. Wait, that was a dream. So, do you ever realize your dream might be someone else's nightmare? And your nightmare might be someone else's dream? Like my dream to fuck Cindy Crawford. Now, don't you think that's her nightmare? Don't you really? I mean, really. Come on, let's grow up. It probably is. I mean, come on. Yeah. I had the weirdest dream ever in dreamdom the other day. I dreamt I was trapped in an elevator with John Denver and Bob Denver. And I had a gun with one bullet. Now, what do you do? I blew my head off, that's what I did. That John Denver, what the ha happened to him, huh? Jeez Louise, man. You know what, John Denver tape cost 99 cents, can you believe that? A blank tape cost two fifty. <laughs> the man could double his money if he just shut the fuck up, couldn't he? He could. He could. I'm telling you, no, he could. No, you don't have to applaud that one because it's true. So hear me. I was in a band for a while, and you know how what they say guys in bands get a lot of women? Well, that is untrue. I was in a band, four years, no action. Well, actually, it was a marching band. And, uh, oh, high school, how you ruined me. I hate high school, don't you? I'm supposed to go to my high school reunion. I'm not going, I'll tell you why. If I want to see one of the losers I hung out with in high school, I'll get a pizza delivered, okay? Because they were idiots. Yeah, yeah. And they hurt me. They did things to me. When I was younger, I used to hitchhike. You ever hitchhike? That's the way to see America, huh? Bound and gagged in the trunk of a lunatic's car. Oh, I'd tell you more, but I'd need a puppet. Well, <laughs> flying is the way to go. Oh, man. I fly a lot, not just because I'm a comic, I'm also a heroin mule. I, uh, I used to have that job driving the stairs up to the airplane, you know, at the airport, driving up. There's a technical name for that, I think alcoholic. I think that's what it is. But I fly all the time, yes I do. Yeah. I flew to Australia one time, takes two days to fly there. And when you get there, it's earlier than when you left. When I landed, I called my house, I picked up the phone. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> I don't know. I woke me, and me had morning wood. Now, I don't know. I'm sorry. Here's another travel tip. Never, ever pack when you're high. I'm telling you. You get there, you open your bag, nothing matches. That's right. Yeah, I don't know what you can do. That's right. All you have to wear is a Hawaiian shirt, an oven mitt, and a lava lamp. That's all you got. You can take more clothes, because you need room for all that cookie dough you know you're going to be eating. You've met David Tell, the entertainer. Now meet David Tell, the community leader. Drugs are not the answer, I'm telling you. I used to do a lot of drugs, but that was way back there. Now... Not proud of it. You ever take NyQuil? Have you ever done that? Yeah. That is the longest fucking thing on earth, isn't it? Oh my God, that is so long. I took it, I had a cold. I woke up, I had a beard. I really don't know what happened there. I feel great. Who's president? Do you know? You and the hovercraft, tell me. 
If you take that NyQuil, don't do anything else because you're going to want to. I took it. I went to play miniature golf. What a mistake. For a whole day, I thought I was the king of that little town. I was like, hello. Hello, putt putt people. Put puttians, please. You in the windmill. Why do you hate me? That story ends with these cuffs are hurting. Well, <laughs> let's talk about sex now. What do you say, huh? Yeah? You have the balls for it? We'll strap them on. Sex, that's what it's about. You ever go to a sex store? Okay, I'm the only one keeping that billion dollar a year business going. All right. What is this, a bingo parlor? What's going on here? I went to a sex store and I was drunk. Never do that. I took one of those strap-on dildos. I put it on my head, started chasing people like a rhino. Oh, God. Oh, my God. No. Everyone was laughing, except for the guy in the kilt. I don't know what happened, but I'm sorry. They got blow-up women in there, you know that? A guy gave me a blow-up woman, you know, and at first I was kind of insulted until he left. Then I was excited. I only blow her up halfway and pretend I'm fucking a model. Yeah. They also have blow up sheep in there. Can you believe that? Blow up sheep. That means people have sex with animals. Can you believe that? I was reading about this guy who was arrested for having sex with a cow. Can you believe that? Yeah. And they spelled my name wrong. No. <laughs> A guy was having sex with a cow and he was arrested. You know how he got caught? He was bragging to his friends. Would you ever brag about fucking a cow? Hey, that girl's pretty hot, but not as hot as that black Angus down on Mr. Frank's farm, huh? You who? Woo! I would never have sex with a cow. That's against God, and I am lactose intolerant. I would never do that. If I was to have sex with one animal, it would be a horse, because that is a beautiful animal. <laughs> and when you have sex with a horse, you know you always have a ride home. Now, don't hate me for saying it. You're the ones laughing at it. Okay. Whatever happened to romance, huh? Is romance a dirty word? If it is, then suck my dick. I mean, really. <laughs> I'm very sensitive. Yes, I am. I'll tell you how sensitive I am. I can go from laughing to crying and just one kick to the face. I'm sensitive, everyone. That is very sensitive. How about your first time? You never forget your first time, huh? Don't you ever wish you could have sex with the first person you ever had sex with again just to show them how good you got at it? I mean, really. Hey, made it past your thigh. Prom night. Do, 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 do. How about that song you lose your virginity to, huh? That's a special song, and it better be a good one or else it'll haunt you. I have the worst one. No, I can top anybody. Oh, I can still feel her beard. Well, but I want to meet a soulmate. Yay. I believe in the philosophy that for every person, there's another person they're meant to be with. Do you believe in that? I do. I feel like I'm always just missing my special person. I'll be in a bank. She's in a deli. I'll go to a strip club. She's not working that night. You see what I'm saying? Your friends are always like, oh, Dave, you just have to keep looking for your person. Why do I have to do all the looking? Does my person have a head wound and is just wandering around out there? Yay! Yay! Did she fall down a well? Yay! Yay! But you get lonely and there's no denying it. The other night I got the lonely bug, right? So I go out to this bar. I see this woman alone. I'm thinking, hey, she's alone. I'm alone. Why not annoy her? So... <laughs> I walk over, I'm wearing clogs. I walk over, right? And I notice she's got a black eye. She's got a shiner. I'm thinking, great, she's seeing someone. Well, 
A couple of McNuggets later, we're back at my place. And we're having sex doggy style. I didn't plan on it. That's just how she passed out. Well, thank you, NyQuil. Fellas, have you ever had the experience of a woman yelling another man's name out in the height of passion? Well, this girl took it the whole nine yards. She's yelling out names of men who've never lived. She's like, oh, oh, fuck me, Santa. Give it to me, Aquaman. Oh, ram it, blue M&M. Oh, oh, I'm going to come pop a Smurf. Well, now, now I'm thinking, I'm thinking, is she crazy? Or is she just looking at my sheets? Now, I don't know. But what can you do? You hold her, hug her, and hope she's not a cop. Well, I learned something that night, and I'm going to tell you people. Never let a woman put a condom on you. It's embarrassing. It's like, oh, look, look. There's still more room. <laughs> we could tie it off and use it again. Because you've got the smallest dick I've ever seen in my life. Can I use your phone? Boop, 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 boop. Hello, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Yes, I found it. A lot of guys are wondering, how do you know if you have a small penis? Maybe I just have really big hands. Well... Come on, come on, let's not play games, we all know it. Luckily, there's a test. The first time you show it to your lady, if she looks at it and goes, "Oh, <laughs> Look at it, like a little baby Jesus. Boop, 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 boop. Don't worry, you can do things to make your penis look bigger. Do what I do. Set up army men around it. Oh, God. It looks huge. Sergeant, take that sack! All right. Now let's drink it down. What do you say? Good. Yeah. I'll drink anything you got. There's only one drink I hate. Eggnog. Have you ever had that? How the heck did they think that one up? Hmm, I want to get a little drunk, but I also want pancakes. Hey! I got an idea. That is pure sugar. It's like, ooh, hello, diabetes, yay! Do you know what eggnog really is? You're not gonna to want to hear it, but I'm gonna tell you. Elf come. That's right, everybody. Santa's extra helper. I'm sorry. It had to come out. I'll be killed for saying it, but it's true. It is. You know, I don't need to drink to have a good time. No. I need to drink to stop the voices in my head. And the voice in my head has a stutter, and that is really annoying. The Dave, Dave, Dave. What? Kill your papa pa 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 parents. Love the da da Write it down! Today, all right? Wow. Is that too much to ask? Now, drinking and driving. A lot of people say it's wrong, and I call these people the cops. Well, <laughs> you know, sometimes you have no choice. Hey, those kids gotta get to school, you know what I'm saying? Oh, God. I'm not proud of this, but I'm gonna tell you. I got pulled over for drunk driving once. Oh man, was I drunk. You know you're really drunk when you get pulled over by the Coast Guard. That's when you know. This is the US Coast Guard. Swim out of that Honda Civic. <laughs> Fuck you, sea pig. Come and get me. I'm going to get going because you guys are really good, man. You're, it was a fun time here. Some things aren't funny. We all learned that, didn't we? Beatings aren't funny. Stabbings aren't funny. Mimes aren't funny. <laughs> but beating and stabbing a mime, why is that hilarious? And 40 calories. 
I caught the acting bug uh, three summers ago, and I'm getting treatment. But I caught the acting bug, and I auditioned on a beer commercial recently. I go into the audition. This guy hands me a glass of beer. He's like, all you have to do is take a sip of beer and act like you really, really love it. I'm like, okay. Remember, like you love it. Okay, I got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I didn't get the commercial, but this guy, he keeps calling me all the time. Thank you very much. You guys have been great.